and Hull City fans gather in Slovakia as the team prepares for its European debut tonight. Now, in just a few hours, Hull City will make their debut in the Europa League. The Tigers have been training in Slovakia ahead of the match with AS Trenčín, and our sports reporter Simon Clark is with the team. They've been arriving by any means possible. This was a group of Tigers fans coming in on the Bratislava Express. Slowly, Selina in northern Slovakia is turning amber and black. Um, train to Gatwick, flight to Vienna and minibus here. Vienna one night, here for two or three days and the match tonight was fantastic. From Vienna to Bratislava, then another four and a half hours travelling to actually get here. So I've had about three or four hours of sleep in two days, but it's worth it, isn't it? The team have visited the well-appointed Dubnon Stadium, hoping it's a platform for Euro success. So, you know, we're going to look to learn, learn different ways to play, learn different ways to win games against different opposition. And, um, you know, hopefully that will stand us in good stead, you know, for back home. And equally, you know, if, um, we learn going forward in this competition as well. The aim for the club, as always, is to try and improve and that's my, always my job, to make sure we don't stand, stand still. We've had a wonderful couple of years and the, you know, the icing on the cake now would be having to run in Europe if we possibly can. Well, this is a curious game in many ways because all the fans are travelling here, given that Truncheon itself is about an hour and ten minutes away. They needed this bigger stadium. But nevertheless, Hull City has made the papers here in Slovakia as they look forward to making their European debut in just a few short hours from now. Simon Clark, Bibbs Look North, Selina. Well, now history is being made this evening. For the first time in their 110-year history, Hull City are competing in a major European competition. Yes, the Tigers are taking on AS Trenčín in Slovakia in the first leg of the Europa League third round qualifying. It's another incredible landmark for the club, who've been on quite a journey over the past few years. Well, our sports correspondent John Shires is on tour with the Tigers and sent us this report. Yes, welcome to Slovakia and welcome to Zelina, where this evening's game is being played. Zelina is a city about 80 kilometres north of Trenčín, whose stadium itself has been deemed unfit to stage the tie by UEFA. City till I die! Oh, city till I die! Not that the Hull fans here care. Just over a decade ago, their horizon stretched only as far as Exeter and Carlisle. I've followed the club for over 30 years. I really didn't think I'd live to see this day. It's fantastic. It's incredible, isn't it, when you think uh, 12 years ago we would look like we're going out of the Football League totally. It feels like the culmination of everything I've dreamed about ever since I was a kid and City fan. You know, when I'm older I can say I've been to the first ever European match. It's just amazing. Everybody's saying about going into group stages, but definitely needed to be here for the first game. Definitely. The weather's good, the beer's cold and City are in Europe. What more do you want, John? You're nursing a little bit of a hangover. A lot of a hangover. <laughs> And I think it will only get worse. <laughs> you get the impression that they'd enjoy themselves wherever the game was being played. But apart from very good and very cheap beer... Cheers! ..and a couple of very familiar names, Gilina has plenty to offer. It's a city of around 80,000 people, surrounded by wooded hills and the Malafatra Mountains, where they're skiing in winter. The city, whose heart is the picturesque St Mary's Square, has plenty of fine buildings. It even has a castle though it also has its grimy post-communist industrial quarter as well. But the players aren't here for sightseeing. They take on a trenching side that finished second in their own domestic league. They are a very, very decent team. They've got some pace up the top end of the pitch. Um, so we're going to have to be at our best. For uh, Trenčín it's a very important game. Uh, it is also a great challenge for uh, AS uh, because it's uh, really uh, a celebration for Slovak football. Uh, when some uh, team of uh, Premier League uh, come to Slovakia. For any club to be at the top of their league in any country, they're doing, um, you know, they're doing something right. So, you know, we're going to look to learn, learn different ways to play, learn different ways to win games against different opposition. So a very real test in what is Steve Bruce's 100th game in charge of Hull City. And there's a great deal at stake. We know that uh, the group the group system, there's some big, big teams in it. And once you get into that, then it's what you play football for. As for the club, it's, a, it's magnificent to think of how far we've come in such a short time. And let's hope we can stay here. 
That's got to be the aim. Now, as we've already heard, Hull City are in Europa League action in Slovakia right now. That's the first European competition in their 110-year history. The game kicked off a little earlier. John Shires is at the match in Zelina for us this evening. He's on a telephone line now. John, what's happening? Well, Duncan, uh, there's 23 minutes gone and it's still goalless here. Um, Hull City have had probably the better chances. Dave Myler headed a free kick over the bar in the very first minute. Sonny Aluko headed well wide from the Mohammed. El Mohammedi's cross not long after. Trenchin have just come into it in the last few minutes. They've had a couple of corners. They've both come to nothing. It's been quiet on the field, not so quiet off it. The 800 City fans here comfortably out singing their opponents. But at the moment, 23 and a half minutes gone. Trenchin nil, Hull City nil. You can catch up with the result on our late bulletin after news at 10. John Shires, our man in Slovakia. Thanks very much. Now, Hull City's European adventure has begun. Their Europa League match with AS Trenchen is underway in Slovakia. And in a few moments, we'll find out how they're doing. Well, all day, City fans have been arriving in the city of Selina. Our sports reporter, Simon Clark has been with them. They've been arriving by any means possible. This was a group of Tigers fans coming in on the Bratislava Express. Slowly, Selina in northern Slovakia is turning amber and black. Well, the dream's come true, hasn't it? We could have ended up in Motherwell and we've got yeah. we've got Zelina, so we're absolutely thrilled about it. No matter what happens from here on, whether the group stage or whatever else, you have to be here for the first one. It's just amazing. I mean, it's the first European game and, you know, when I'm older, I can say I've been to the first ever Hull City European game. It's just amazing. The team were allowed time before the game to familiarise themselves with the Dubron Stadium, a venue for Euro success, they hope. You know, we're going to look to learn learn different ways to play, learn different ways to win games against different opposition. And, um, you know, hopefully that will stand us in good stead, you know, for back home. And equally, you know, if, um, we learn going forward in this competition as well. The aim for the club, as always, is to try and improve. And that's my, always my job, to make sure we don't stand, stand still. We've had a wonderful couple of years and, the, you know, the icing on the cake now would be having a run in Europe if we possibly can. Well, this is it, whole city in Europe, and as one fan has just said to me, it's surreal. It's surreal, all right, but it's also reality. 110 years in the making, it's a night to remember for those in amber and black. It's amazing how many have actually made the journey, isn't it? Well, it's half-time in Selina. Simon Clark is watching. How's City getting on? Well, it's still at half-time, Peter, and the uh, best chance has fallen to Shane Long, the whole city strike with a header just over the bar, and Shani Aluko also affected the goalkeeper. But he's fair to say that Trenchin, the home side here, enjoyed the better stages of the uh, first half, certainly towards the end of that half. But as we go in at the break, Peter, the scoreline here is Trenchin nil, Hull City nil. Hull City have failed to score in their first European game. The game with Trenchin in Slovakia ended in a draw. Simon Clark has this. This was the moment of truth for Hull City, their European bow against AS Trenchin. Football matches are often defined by moments of brilliance, but this was notorious for a spectacular miss. Shane Long won a Hull City penalty. Tom Huddleston took it. Missed it. Follow up. Oh dear. Shocking. Stout defending was then called for. It finished nil nil. We've all missed penalties and we've all missed big mistakes and big chances in front of goal. You don't intentionally do it. You'd put your house on it that Tom Wilson would score. He hasn't. But I think that's the last three or four we've missed, so I think we better start practicing them because at the minute we're not very good. So the talking point from the fans' point of view, like the manager, was that of the miss. I ain't seen the, the replay of the, the, the follow-up, but it seemed like it should have been, should have been tucked away, that, shouldn't it? Oh, that was awful, you know. It's one of those things, though, isn't it? Rubbish, rubbish. How could you kick it over the bar from that near? But the penalty was rubbish, but everything else was great the whole day. So we've all to play for now in the second leg of this Europa Cup tie. And as fans leave here, they'll be talking about two things. First, how wonderful this European excursion has been. And second, how on earth Tom Huddleston missed that chance. Simon Clark, Beavis Look North, Selina in Slovakia.
Time for sport now, starting with football and Hull City's first ever match in Europe. Their Europa League third preliminary round tie against AS Trenčín in Slovakia last night ended in a goalless draw. But in many ways, the result was secondary for the 700 or so Tigers fans who made the trip. Just being there was what mattered. Our sports correspondent John Shires was there too. <laughs> They came by air, by rail and by road, all determined to say, I was there. No, it's the fact that we're, it's Hull here, it's just, just crazy, but it's great fun. We're just enjoying being in Europe, I think. We're not going to be nervous, there's no point in being nervous, I think. No. I might even have to wipe a little tear from my eye when I see them take the field. The city might be a bit undercooked today, but get a, get a reasonable result today and I'm sure the home leg will be comfortable anyway, so we'll just enjoy ourselves today. Also amongst the Tigers fans, several from the Polish branch of their supporters club just over the border. Probably a whole win today and they score... Five goals. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Five goals. We want five goals for Hull. Ideally, Steve Bruce would have wanted that too, but he didn't get it. Though edging the early stages, City were decidedly ring rusty against opponents already some way into their own domestic season. Shani Luko had the best effort in the first half. To be fair, trenching themselves only threatened sporadically. This was the closest they came, a shot flashing just wide of Alan McGregor's post. But Hull really should have won it. Shane Long tripped just inside the box. Surely Tom Huddleston would put the tie to bed with an away goal. But not only was his spot kick saved, but he latched the rebound not into the roof of the net, but into the roof of the stand. It finished goalless. Well, as squibs go, it was uh, pretty damp, wasn't it? <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're still in the tie, we haven't conceded. I think the performance was disappointing, to be honest. Yeah, could have done a lot better. Should have got that penalty in. Well, we've all missed penalties. We've all missed penalties and we've all missed big chances in front of goal. You don't intentionally do it. You put your house on it that Tom Wilson would score. He hasn't. Would be better for that game, physically-wise. A lot of people needed it. I know Tommy should have scored that, but, you know... At the end of the day, you know, it was still an amazing experience. A sentiment echoed by the boss. Fair play to them. Some of them have been in four different countries, four different trains, and, uh, and they've enjoyed themselves, which it would be nice to have gone back with a victory, which I thought we edged, but overall, for the supporters of the club and for everybody concerned, then it's been a wonderful experience for us all. Oh, brilliant, absolutely excellent, yeah. I've enjoyed every, every minute of it, you know. Oh, it's been a great few days, yeah. I think train trip. That was five and a half hours from Prague this afternoon. That was... <laughs> no doubt you had a bit of lotion on it, though. Uh, too. Just a bit, just a bit. <laughs> We're going to get a bit more now. <laughs> and I'm sure they did. John Shires, ITV News, Slovakia. Oh, great stuff. Just want to show you this. This is from Chris Skelton. He was actually behind that goal, that penalty miss. This is what he recorded. Oh, yeah, Tom didn't swell. Oh, it came towards him. But look at his face. <laughs> that was his reaction for all of that. Chris, don't worry. You'll still win next week. Great face, that's it. <laughs> Hull City and their fans are back in East Yorkshire tonight after a disappointing start to their very first European football campaign. The Tigers could only manage a nil-nil draw against AS Trenchen in Slovakia. And one City player will still be wondering how he didn't score. It's our sports reporter Simon Clark. There are well-worn paths these fans have travelled before, but they've often been in the lower levels of English football. Now they were taking their first tentative steps in Europe, here in Slovakia. And so did their team, until Shane Long won a penalty. Tom Huddleston strode up to hammer it home, found the hands of the trenching goalkeeper, and then, inexplicably, missed the follow. Fans gasped in bewilderment, and so, in his own way, did Tom. Trenching came close only once. It finished nil-nil. You know, it's a big ask. We've only been back to work two and a half weeks to play in Europe, and you can see by their fitness levels, they were sharper than we were, which was to be expected. The penalty, uh, I mean, <clears throat> that you didn't score uh, the penalty, uh, yeah, it saved our game, so to speak. Afterwards, fans plotted routes home, including Matthew and Luke, Tigers fans from just over the border in Poland. It's a horrible penalty, poor penalty, but the less to shot the goal. Uh, my, uh, my brother is a favourite team. I'm here with my brother, so I'm the Tiger too today, yes. The rest of the fans were happy to have enjoyed their Euro exchange. Sitting around the square, having a pint, 
talking to people who, who, were, who, who live here. It's been really lovely, really, really enjoyed it. And spare a thought for these two, who saw only 10 minutes of the game thanks to a travel nightmare. Uh, our plane in Switzerland was delayed four hours, which meant us missing our train. We rushed onto a bus from Prague, into the station, Got the, the bus took us to the wrong train station, so we had to sprint across Prague to the different train station and met it with two minutes to spare, and the train got us there for the 80th minute. Well, all through today, you will have found Hull City fans dotted around Europe in travel hubs like Bratislava, Vienna and Prague, even a minibus heading up to Hungary. And they'll all have their mind on one thing, a second leg next Thursday at the KC Stadium, a game where Hull City have to score and have to win. Simon Clark, BBC Look North, Selina in Slovakia.